वेलकम टू शिपिंग पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर डी एन मौर्या टूडेज टॉपिक इज वाट इज कैप्टी पोर्ट कैप्टी पोर्ट्स आर डेवलप बाई द इंडस्ट्रीज फॉर हैंडलिंग देयर ओन कार्गो दे आर डेवलप्ड बाई टेकिंग द वाटर फ्रंट ऑन लीज फ्रॉम द रेस्पेक्टिव गवर्नमेंट ऑन बी ओ ओ बेसिस दैट इज बिल्ड ओन एंड ऑपरेट दे हैंडल द ओन कार्गो that is for incoming cargo raw material and also the products that is the output so these are the ports which are generally of a smaller size as they are handling their own cargo their capacity is lower so the ports are ports are not big ports they are smaller ports so we also call them jetty so captive ports generally they are known as captive jetty they are set up in creek that is the salt river connecting the ocean and sea or it could be set up in river also on the sea coast depending upon the location of the industry they can be set up either in the creek or in the river or on the sea coast the some of the example of the captive ports in india gsw port that is the gsw steel industry is in dolbi dharamtar near the in the raiga district of maharashtra so they have set up a jetty we call it gsw captive jetty or gsw captive port earlier this was owned by the spot industry limited in 2009 10 gsw acquired it from the spot industry and now they are operating in the name of gsw so what they do they bring the raw material for manufacturing the steel they have got a big steel plant there so they need the raw material so they have got the own jetty own ports they bring the raw material what is required for the production of steel that is the basic raw material is iron ore then hbi pig iron then coal coke metal scraps these are the item these are the cargo which they bring as the input cargo incoming cargo and the output product is cr coil or hr coil hot rod coil and cold rod coils in the rolls of 20 to 25 tons which they either export or supply to the local market in india so when they supply to the market in india they deliver they dispatch it on the trucks when they supply for the foreign country then they do the same thing load it on barges and send it to the ship for loading made stream other captive ports in india that is in gujarat sangipuram sanghi cement they manufacture the cement so they have got a cement plant there so raw material for the cement is limestone gypsum or we call it cement clay these are the raw material what is the output that is the bags powder bags powder cement in bags so they package it in the bags and then supply either by the road transport rail transport for the local consumption in the local market or they supply in the smaller ships to the foreign countries that is the export so import and export import is raw material export is the final product other captive port in muldar muldwarka that is the ambuja cement similar facilities then pipawa ultratech cement similar facilities they bring the raw material limestone gypsum clay etc and produce the cements in bag powder cement and supply to the customer the main thing about the captive port that is they are not allowed to handle the third party cargo unless specifically permitted by the state government state government generally they have the board maritime board so they have to take the permission otherwise they are not permitted to handle the third party cargo that is why we call them captive port all custom rules will be applicable to captive ports like any other port all customer custom formalities custom rule will apply to them payment of duty and clearance of the cargo for import export will be on the similar basis they use generally the small vessels the small ships because they are located in the river creek or sea coast somewhere 
where they do not want to do the capital raising because capital raising is very very expensive so they cannot create the big port and they don't need also because they don't have to bring the bigger ship the requirement is regular on monthly basis so what they do they bring the cargo in the big vessels and do the maritime operation maritime operations mean handling and loading the cargo raw material somewhere at the anchorage point from there they deploy the barges or mbc mini bulk carrier up to 10000 tons or barges 1000 2000 3000 metric ton capacity they go to maritime and from there the cargo will be unloaded from the mother vessel put into the barges barge will carry to the captive port where they can have small facilities unload the cargo and then send it to the plant either by having a conveyor system or they can use the trucks and send the material to the godown in the plant so this is the what is the meaning of captive port or captive jetty those who have not subscribed to my channel i request them to please subscribe see you in next video with the fresh topic till then bye bye